Hey, what's up my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I've got something special for you. I've had a bunch of comments of people asking me to make a ring tutorial that you can do with a little less equipment. And so today, that's the goal. You could get away with using just a Dremel. That's what we're gonna be starting out with. But I would recommend having a Dremel and a belt sander. Um, but if you've got plenty of time and you just want a fun project, you just need to buy a hex nut and you seriously could get away with just a Dremel. So the steps we're gonna take for this is I'm gonna use this Dremel and we're gonna hollow out the inside. You can see the threads in there, those definitely wouldn't be comfortable. So we're gonna be getting rid of those. And I have to use these super small Dremel wheels because Home Depot only had these, I think, half inch nuts. So that was kind of lame. This ring will end up fitting on my pinky. So it'll still be a cool video. You guys will get the idea. Hopefully you guys can find the bigger ones. And also one thing to note is you definitely wanna find a stainless steel hex nut. They're super cheap no matter what kind you get, but these will not rust on you, so that's much better. And then for the shape of this, I've actually made a video a while ago where I hollowed out the inside, but I kept the hexagon shape intact. And for this one, I'm going to remove one, two, three, four of the edges. And so we'll just have this flat face up front. So you can still kind of tell it was a hex nut at one point, but it'll be a lot more comfortable to wear. So hopefully that catches you up to speed, lets you know what we're going for here, and let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we've got the ring to this point. You'll notice that I actually ended up putting a taper on the ring there. While I was trying it on, I noticed it was pretty uncomfortable. So I went in and did that by hand, just holding it up to the belt sander. And now it's a lot more comfortable. Um, it is a bit tight for me, so it's not super comfortable in general. But you can see that looks really nice already. And we still preserved that original face of the bolt or the hex nut. So you can still see some of the original chamfers and smooth lines that it had. So I think that's really cool. It still has some of its original features. And then the rest of it is just completely smoothed out. And you can see I switched the belts a whole bunch of different times. I went from, um, I think I started with 80 grit, then I went to 220, then to 320, then 400, then 600. So this is already really smooth. And this might be a look that you might like 
just to leave it at, but we're going to, just for the sake of showing it, we're going to continue and go with some polishing compound. So here is the felt polishing wheel. It's got a W on there for white. This is for the white polish. And then we will replace it with the one with green on it and use the green polishing compound. Not much to it. I'm just going to grab the white compound. I need to load up the felt disc. So as simple as that, and then I can use it to polish the ring. All right, just need to wipe off any of the polish residue left on there with this paper towel. And there it is. All right, well that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this. I know this is a little bit off the path of the normal videos that I do, but I thought it would be one that you guys would still be interested. And I also thought it might be cool for any of you that are trying to do stuff like this at home. This is something you can definitely do. You could seriously do all of this with less than $100 of equipment. You just need a cheap Dremel and a cheap belt sander. It's kind of hard to show this thing off in film, so I'm going to go take some photos of it right now. I've got another hex bolt that's exactly the same as what we started out with. I think it's going to be cool to see some compare and contrast shots of the before and after. Also, I just want to mention, if you're not already, make sure that you're following me on Instagram. That's where I post all the pictures of all the rings that I'm making, and it gives you a kind of a really good behind the scenes look of everything that I'm up to. And then that's also somewhere where I'm really engaged with my audience. I've got about 200,000 subscribers here versus 25,000 followers on Instagram. So that's about a tenth of size. I'm able to reply to almost everyone and I really like the interaction I get over there. So make sure you're following me there. And the question of the day I'm going to have for you on Instagram is to go to my most recent post and leave a suggestion of a video you'd like to see me do in the future. So if you really like this ring video, maybe I could do a similar one where we do a different style out of a hex nut. Or if you didn't like this video, you wanna see some more glow videos, you can give me some suggestions for those. Anything really goes. I just wanna hear what you guys think and I wanna interact with you guys on Instagram. So make sure to leave a comment over there and I will see you in the next video.